Hey guys, it's Madness Mailer, aka Caitlin. So I have quite a few things to own open. I got a little package right here from a small business. And I also got my bar boxy charm. My barky charm, yeah. I got my box boxy charm. <laughs> yes, let's get right into that. Alright, guys, so let's open this little package first. So I got a cute little necklace. Um this is a small business for my friend. I'm going to link her Twitter and her shop down below so you guys can check her out. But, um, she has a snake and she makes, like, cute little necklaces. You'll see what I mean. She sent me some stuff. Aww. I think that might be it. Yep. Alright, this is her snake. Oh, he's adorable. I love it. Oh, sweet. She said, thank you so very much for your order. Oh, her name's Kitty, by the way. I think her snake's name is Paz. Yeah, I always love supporting small businesses. So it looks like I got some stickers. I'm excited. I just got like a vaccine sticker. Like a free one. Ooh, this is so cute. I love it. I feel like Anna and Donna would really like that one. No, I like the flower one. So I'm a very girly girl. So basically, um, Shake Sned, so Shake Snakes Shed <laughs> their skin. So yeah, I got that, and there's some glitter in there. And it's a necklace, and I think you can just. Yep. Got a fat head. <laughs> just pop it on. And there you go. Got a cute little necklace. It looks cute with my cross. Oh, cute. It has a little heart. It says, made with love. I love that. Okay. Yeah, so. There is that. And then, let's open the boxy charm. Theme for the June boxy, boxy, boxy charm is Dare to Dazzle. So we got five things. Okay. So the first thing we got, ooh, is the Glam Glow Super Cleanse Clearing Cream to Foam Face Cleanser. So excited about that. I had an eye cream from them from my past Ipsy bag. Okay. Ooh, this is what it looks like. It's a big boy. So yeah, super excited about that. I always love skincare. Alright, and then this was my choice item that I chose. Um, I didn't get to choose one in my May just because that was my first one, I think, so. Um, also today, this video probably won't be going up, but it's the 14th, so hopefully you choose your boxy charm then. Alright, so this is the NARS, it's like a lip pencil, and it's in a really nice shade, it's like red. And I'm very excited to use that. Oh, okay. Sorry, you guys. Um, so the Glam Glow cleanser is $32, which is pretty dang affordable. And the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil is $27, which um, isn't that bad. Okay, so the next thing we got is the Touch and Soul Pretty Filter Glow Dient makeup palette okay they have little stickers on the end so also um i just tried the ipsy context nail polish i think it's a really pretty shade very nice tan color um okay my nail just chipped i love that for me it's so cute I like the packaging. Ooh. Okay. So. Hmm. It looks like this is a face palette, so. 
Yeah, a bronze and like um, a little blush and then some highlights in here. So this is what it looks like. Sorry, I'm blending with the mirror. Yeah, it's really pretty and I'm very excited to use that. I have never had a palette like this before. And this is $34, by the way, as the MSRP. And then this is Aceology Overnight Lip Mask, and this is $19, so it's pretty dang affordable. Oops, sorry, I just dropped that. Very messed today. Okay, if I can get this out. Okay, cool. It kind of reminds me of the one I have um, from Ipsy by the Seraphine Botanicals. So yeah, I'm excited to use this. Okay. And then our last thing is by Jessica or Jekka Black. This is a primer. Ooh, yes. Love to hear that. So this is a hydrating primer, so this will be very good because sometimes I do have dry skin. So it's a hydrating primer for your face. It's vegan friendly and cruelty free, and we love to hear that. And the MSRP is $20 for this one. Okay, so looks like we got three makeup and two skincare. So tomorrow I will definitely be trying these out. Um, you won't know it's tomorrow, but yeah. Well, I'll be wearing something different, hopefully. <laughs> but yeah. So, I will be right back with you guys then. Hi guys, I'm back. Um, so we're gonna do a makeup look with the few things I got in my box to try them. I have iced coffee, which I just put like five ice cubes in and called it a day. So, is it really iced coffee? No. <laughs> Slightly cold coffee. <laughs> Alright, changing it up. Okay. So. I did try these two things out, which are the skincare parts of my boxy charm, and I will talk about them later. So yeah, stay tuned for that. <laughs> yeah, so. I suppose we're gonna try this um, primer on right now, and I'll do like all my base makeup off camera, then come back for this palette right here. Looks like that. So yeah, oh the primer is coming out already. It did have like a safety, um, I don't know what that's called. You know what I mean. All right, so we're just gonna put some on our face. I'm just gonna blend that in then. I rub it and not blend it in. There's nothing to blend. <laughs> Doesn't smell like anything. It's kind of weird. Maybe that's also a good thing, though. Debating whether or not I want to do liquid or powder, not powder, powder foundation or liquid foundation. So, I will be right back with you guys shortly then. Alright guys, let's play out this face palette then. Alright. So, we're gonna try the darkest shade over here. I'm gonna see if I can use that as a contour shade. I don't know if you guys can see it. It is pretty glowy. It might be a little too dark for me. This could work actually. Oops. We're gonna be really glowy because I think it does have some shimmer. Yeah, I always totally wanted to try this brand. The best application, but let's blend it out. So I'm grabbing brushes. I don't think there's a blush in here though. Although I think we could get away with using that middle shade as one. So I'm just going to blend this out. <gasps> no, I just dug my brush into it. Damn it. 
Okay. Yeah, not bad. All right, so. Scared to dip into the bronze shade, but we're gonna go like really light-handed. Try to blend it out as best as I can. Ugh, that middle shade might not work as blush. So I'm actually just gonna grab one. Um, let's see. Get, we're gonna get the blusher brush. Oh, I have it right here. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna grab the Milani um, Rose Powder Blush in the, in the shade Spiced Rose. I'm just gonna dip into that. It's a really pigmented blush. Don't mean to be dipping in like that. <laughs> Alright, so let's blend that out of that. I think that looks okay. So then we can take a highlighter brush. Right here. I'm gonna dip into the lightest shade. I'm gonna be really pretty. Oh yeah. Ooh, that's really blinding actually. Sorry, I hope you guys can see me. Okay, let's put that on our nose. Oh, yeah, really pigmented. I'll just blend that out with this brush. Then we'll put it on our Cupid's bow. Perfect. Yeah, here's what that lightest shade looks like swatched. And then that one is like the one in the middle. Which probably is a little too dark for me. Sorry, my eyes are trim. All right. Wow, these are really pretty. So I'm just gonna take my Ulta setting spray and I'm gonna spray my cheeks on. All right. Yeah, let me do my eyebrows and my eyeshadow and I will get back with you guys to try the NARS lip crayon. Mm -hmm. I use my Tom Ford quad here. This is in 03 Nude Dip. I did play with this one on camera once before. Super pretty. I used all the colors in there on my lid. And I used the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Eyeliner. And I used the Their Real Mascara by Benefit. And I also put in my Glamnetic Living Lashes. That's a style. Living. Oh. Alright, so I'm going to take the Touch and Soul palette, and I'm just going to use that for a mirror. So let's put on this crayon. I think it'll be really pretty. Hopefully it's moisturizing. It's really pretty. And Nara's makeup, like, smells so good, like, their lip products. I think um the other lipstick I have from Ipsy smells really good, too. Yeah, this smells like watermelon candy. Okay, it's more pink than red, but that's okay. I think I was a little misguided by the color, or maybe I didn't pick out pink. But yeah, I think it's really pretty, and I really like it. So let's talk about this whole box. Actually, I'm gonna spray my eyes really quick. All right, so this is like a charcoal face wash, but it's not like a mask where it like stays on your skin and washes off really easily. So don't be afraid of it because it's really good. Um, hopefully it clears up my acne because I think that's what it's supposed to do. And it's not harsh, it's really gentle, so it's not gonna hurt you when you put it on. 
And then I only tried this once, but I really like it. Um, I forgot what it smells like. I don't know, it's really nice. Oops. I will definitely be using it tonight. Also, this as well. Actually, I'm using my mushroom one up. <laughs> and then um, this primer is pretty good. I think my skin's very hydrated and it makes it look really glowy and stuff. This is from Jekka Black. And then I really like this. I do think some of the shades are a little too dark for me. And I think it's mostly like a highlight palette. But I think you can get away with using it as a bronzer and contour if you go in really light-handed. Um, yeah, I'm kind of sad that I scratched into mine with a brush. But yeah, they're really pretty and I like them. And that um, lightest shade is one that works on me pretty good. I think it's really pretty and it's really glowy and I like it. Alright. Was there something else? No. Okay. Oh wait, yeah. Okay, so this NARS lip crayon, and this is in the shade Dulce Vita. Dulce Vita. It's a velvet matte lip pencil. Yeah, it's really pretty, and I really like it. You could put like a gloss over it if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, I really like it. So thank you guys for watching, um, and don't forget to subscribe. And like and comment down below and I will see you guys in the next one. Alright, bye!